Hello, Stefan here with another contact tutorial. This one's about the quick load function, also known as the favorites menu. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I've had some people asking me why they cannot access our sounds in the library browser. This is really a two-part answer. The first part is the bad news, but you might want to stick around for the good news in just a moment. Part of the confusion happens because the word library is used in different ways. In the context of contact, it usually refers to this scrolling list of libraries here. This contains all the libraries that come with contact, the complete bundle or selected third-party libraries you may have purchased, but it only contains libraries by soundware producers that are affiliated with native instruments. By paying a royalty fee, they get access to the resources required to display a nice colorful logo with an integrated browser. Now, a more general definition of the word library would refer to any collection of sounds, whether they show up in this list or not. And the good news, as you'll see in a moment, is that there's really no speed or convenience penalty at all if you know how to use the quick load function. You just don't get the eye candy of the nice logo, that's all. So if you purchased a library from a third-party developer that is not affiliated with native instruments like Root Sounds, or if you're creating your own sounds, then this is what you want to do. First, we bring up the quick load window. You can do that in two ways. Either click this button up here and the window pops up. You can click again to close it. Or you can also right click anywhere down here in the empty rack space. Now let's create a new favorite location. I'm using our percussive innuendo library as an example. Because the sounds in that library are all instruments, I make sure that the instrument button is highlighted and then I right click to bring up the add new folder command. There it is. Now it's important to realize that this folder does not exist anywhere on your file system. It is strictly a virtual folder inside of contact, which lets you group real folders on your hard disk for convenience. In my case, I'd like to access the percussive innuendo library. So let's call this folder percussive innuendo. I can now find the actual folder or multiple folders containing the instruments in the finder or your operating system and drag them there. Here's the folder with the percussive innuendo library, which contains subfolders of wet and dry sounds. Let's drag them both over. And here they are. I can now browse the folder just as convenient as the factory libraries. As you see, locating a sound from the factory library means clicking here and there and there and then eventually you can select the sound. It's just as fast or slow as clicking here and then selecting a sound from the list. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at rootsounds.com.